I did not know the details of my work situation when I filmed that episode, but I do now. So if it goes badly, it's on me it's and not fault. on you. Yeah. Are you oh, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna need to start crying here soon. <laughs> Hey there, yo folks. Welcome back to the Yostead. As previously discussed, I'm gonna be doing Work With Me Wednesdays from now on, where all my Wednesday episodes are gonna be low to no production on these videos. Very little music or no music, not a lot of fancy editing, just me kind of hanging out with you and working like today. I've got some news on the job front, the work that I'm going to be doing here starting, I think, next week, maybe the week after that. And it's good news. The schedule's going to work out for me very well. I'll talk to you guys about that a little more later. But first, Holly is planning what will be, I think, our very first meal straight from the homestead, where every ingredient, except for things like salt, of course, butter but every main ingredient is going to be stuff that we've either grown here in the garden or raised with the chickens and so we're pretty excited i got a cantaloupe this morning we actually pulled up a bunch of potatoes as well so we're going to incorporate all of those ingredients in this meal that holly's going to make and i for one am quite excited about it i'm just getting a couple more tomatoes here sun gold's my fave and then i'm going to get back in where it is dry and warm and Holly's gonna make us a delicious homegrown meal. Okay, so back inside and I gotta say, it's almost kind of chilly outside. I love it. I love that. What do you got there? Is this our first cantaloupe? It is. Smell it. <laughs> How does it smell? Sweet. 
It's very sweet. sweet. You think it's ready to cut? I want to let it ripen another day, but Sean really wants to try it. So if it goes badly, it's on me it's and not fault. on you. Okay, it's, I'll take that. We've got a couple enough. more out there. We've got a couple more cantaloupes out there. So if this one isn't ready and we end up ruining it, which I don't think is going to happen. It just, it needs to be a little sweeter. Let's cut it open. Cuts open nice and easy. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I think that looks good. It's what do you think? About, is this ready? It's not about how it looks. It's about how it tastes. We got to scoop the seeds out. It's going to make for a gross close-up. Yeah. All right. You want to do a taste test? Yes, I do. Very much so. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we're in the camera. Oh, baby, that's really good. Mm. It's not about how it looks. It's, how, it's about how it tastes. And it tastes fantastic. It really does. Mmm, it's nice and juicy. I gotta say the cantaloupes. Mm. I prefer cantaloupes to watermelon. Mm. Well, good, because we didn't grind. <laughs> no. So while Holly dices it up, let's take a look at some of the ingredients that we'll be using on this meal that could very well be our first meal straight from the homestead. I don't know if it's our first. No, because have... I have breakfast all the time that's just like eggs and tomatoes, and that's technically. But we've got a starch edition now, which a is these potatoes. Edition. And these taters I dug up yesterday. I think there's a couple more, right? That you were washing? Um, they're in the sink, yeah. I was washing them. Okay, so there's a couple more that we've been washing. I just dug up a little patch of potatoes yesterday just to see kind of how far they've gotten. And they've gotten pretty far. I've heard it been said that homegrown potatoes are far more delicious than store-bought potatoes. And when I, when I first heard that, I was kind of skeptical. I know there's a difference between homegrown tomatoes and store-bought tomatoes. There's a very palpable difference that you can taste. But as far as potatoes, I always just thought a potato is a potato, right? Apparently not. But a lot of people have told me that no, 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 no. A homegrown potato is far more richer and tasty than the potatoes that you get in a sack at the store. So we're going to put that... We're going to put that claim to the test. And what are you thinking that you're going to do with these potatoes? Well, your dad has inspired me to make papas con huevos, so potatoes and eggs. So okay. I'm going to um, stir fry up some potatoes and some of our garden peppers. And I'll do them in bacon fat because that's how I roll. Mm. Um, and then we'll serve those with eggs and tomatoes. Oh, man. I can't wait. I cannot wait. So we've got eggs that we picked from the nest box this morning. Yes, we, we picked the eggs. We picked the eggs. Straight we got from the vine. Tomatoes. <laughs> we got jalapenos. We've got this infamous red pepper that I experienced a couple of videos ago. But I think we're gonna take the seeds out so it's not as vicious on my taste buds. And then we've got some of these sun gold tomatoes that I picked a little bit earlier. So these taters were pretty dirty. They, they were covered were. in dirt. And it looks like it's a mix of red potatoes and white potatoes. I know we had some Kennebecs, but I don't know which ones. I don't know which ones are which. We don't know which type of... It looks like a tater. It looks like a tater. So we're just going to mix and match. And you're going to peel these and dice them up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to peel off some of... They're kind of a little rough looking. So I'm going to peel off the buggy some of the parts. Eyes. Yeah. They're not eyes, they're just, it looks like some kind of insect got to them. So we'll just peel off that nastiness. And As Holly's doing that, quick update on the meat chickens. So I heard from the hatchery, Murray McMurray, that they've been delivered. Although it's hard to tell. They said that a postal thing has been made for their delivery, but I still haven't gotten any notification of delivery or tracking. So I don't know if they've been delivered or they're about to be delivered. So they should hopefully be getting here probably tomorrow, tomorrow or Thursday. Again, it's hard to tell, but... If they've I've, been delivered, wouldn't they be here today? Well, see, that's why it's confusing. It, there is, I got a notification that said a slip has been created for your delivery, but it didn't say whether it was delivered or not. So if they haven't been pushed out just yet, they will be very soon. So I've got my phone on me, just in case they call. I talk to the post office and let them know that they should be arriving. So those meat chickens, those meatballs, should be getting here, like I said, either tomorrow or the day after. 
Already it smells great. It's raw potato. <laughs> it's I know it's raw potato, but it's raw potato that we grew. Okay. You're proud of that smell. And I'm proud of that smell. these on. That's bacon grease in there, right? Oh yeah. Oh, it smells incredible. Now we're gonna fry these and I'm gonna slice up some peppers to put in here too. Can't wait. Last time I cut one of these open, my hands burned for two days. Gotta be careful about those seeds. <laughs> I should huh? probably wear gloves, but what can I say? I'm adventurous. Those are cool opinions. Yep. So they're not as hot to this flavor. You can see how it's hot on those. Put the thing on the bottom. Mm. Sticking a little bit. So you started browning these in the air fryer instead of... I transferred them to the air fryer because I love crispy. Yes. Oh, it's hot. Oh, hot. Those really are good. They are. Maybe it's up in my head. Perhaps it's psychosomatic. But I really feel like there's a difference in the taste. It tastes, I agree. It's it tastes hard to describe. richer, um, more flavor, like there's more potato-y flavor to it, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Now I did put bacon grease and peppers in here, so there's I'm that. Sure that's helping. But they're really good. They just, they have more flavor. The texture seems better too. Again, maybe it's all in my head because these are my potatoes that <laughs> I grew, but that really does Mmm. Yeah. No, that tastes, that does taste better. Oh man, I am so excited about this. Take a look. Look at that. Most of the ingredients have been raised within 100 yards of where I'm sitting. Eggs. More like 100 feet. More like 100 feet. The eggs, the potatoes, the peppers, the tomatoes, the butter and bacon grease used to cook this was not. The cheese that's on top of my eggs, that was not. The salt and pepper, mm -hmm. I think that's it. But otherwise- Everything visible on this plate. Everything visible on that plate. Came from right out there. Came from 100 feet from where I'm sitting. Let's dig in. Mm. Yeah. Are you oh, yeah. okay? I'm gonna need to start crying here soon. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna. I'm tempted to get some hot sauce for this because it will. Hot sauce will really mm. kick this up, but I want to get a few bites of just the, just the base meal itself. It's such a cool feeling knowing that this was all something we grew. Mm -hmm. mm. And those potatoes really are 
They truly are. Spectacular. You may not believe us, but I really do think there's a difference between homegrown tomato potatoes and store-bought potatoes. These feel, the texture is different and the taste, the only way I can articulate it is it's more potato-y. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. gosh. It is. I will say the difference isn't as clear as with tomatoes. A store-bought tomato tastes like styrofoam and one from the garden tastes like a miracle. The potato, it's not as stark of a difference. It's more subtle, but it's still a difference. And it's really good. Okay, now I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it. <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is cool on several levels. Number one, it tastes really good. But number two, it's one step closer to food freedom. <laughs> potatoes are really easy to grow. And once I grow a batch of potatoes, I can take seed potatoes from that and grow another batch of potatoes the next year. And I have a completely closed loop of food that I can continually source from my own homestead. Same thing with the tomatoes. Save the seeds, grow them for another year. That's a closed loop of food sourcing where we don't need to even leave our property to have food ready for the next year. Mm. Also, I did want to give you guys an update in terms of the work situation. If you remember the last episode, I announced that I'm going to start working off Homestead here soon. And I did not know the details of my work situation when I filmed that episode, but I do now. So essentially, I'm going to start working probably next week. And I'm very blessed, I'm very thankful that the position that I'm going to be taking on it's actually very close to our house. It's not far at all. It's within 10, it's a 10 minute drive, if that. And the hours that I'll be working are perfect. It's late afternoon, so four-ish, five-ish that I'll be starting work, and I'll be wrapping up work around midnight. So I can still kind of get a normal night night's worth of sleep, and I can spend most of the day and morning working on the homestead filming my YouTube, working with the chickens, building new things, basically everything that I've been doing for the past year, I can continue to continue to do during the first part of the day. It's my evenings that are going to be taken up with work, at least on the weekdays. So in terms of finding a job, a position that works out for me, this is perfect. And I, so again, I think I'll be starting that either next week or the week after. In the meantime, I will be spending this week hopefully collecting the meat chickens. Like I said, they should be arriving tomorrow or Thursday. By the next time you guys see me, we should have 25 meatballs sitting in the barn, sitting in the uh, brooder, the stock tank in the barn. I'm hoping there won't be any issues with that. As I said, these Wednesday episodes are gonna be a lot more bare bones. They're gonna be a lot less production than what you might be used to. Little to no music, just me hanging out with you and talking, kind of like what we did today. We hope you enjoyed this episode where we got to eat lunch with you guys. Expect more of this type of thing in the future, on the Wednesdays at least. Also, I'd like to extend a special thank you to everyone that left comments and encouragement on the last video. I wasn't expecting that kind of response. So all of the encouragement that you guys left really meant a lot to us. So again, thank you for that. It, that kind of thing really keeps us going. Anyways, thanks again for hanging out with us today. And until next time, remember, as always, slowly, slowly. <laughs>